It's we're called to order the meeting of the Board of Commissioners on Thursday, June 29, 2023, and it is 9.09. Please join me in the pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Ah, uh, public comment. Fred, please come on up. Yeah, Fred Gaines and Wolf Barrow. Uh, I do have the papers here. I hope that each one of you would take one. Uh, uh, and I want to publicly welcome Chuck to the commission and to the board. Uh, and I hope uh, his stay is a pleasant one. On March 30th, Commissioner Plash announced he was resigning May 15th. Then he said he would stay to the end of June. We are now at the end of June. And has he formalized his resignation? He has not. He has not. Will he be doing that soon, do we know? I could not answer that. OK, well, I think I'm sorry. I should know that. Uh, and also, I had requested some information uh, three weeks ago and two weeks ago. Uh, did I have any answers on that yet? I haven't received anything. OK. Uh, I'd like to give you commissioners a copy of the RSA law. Uh, as I was looking through the right to know law, uh, I understand that my information is supposed to be answered in five business days. Has the board requested or uh, honored those requests from Carroll County residents? While looking up the RSA, I also discovered the state of New Hampshire office has a right to know abundsman for complaints. Then I read in the, Carroll, the uh, Conway Sun and the Carroll County Commissioners and delegation have made this a practice not to hand over public documents. There's letters in here now with requests on it. Two weeks ago, the nursing home administrator stated that getting nursing staff was still an issue and was going to continue to be, that the new nursing wage was not drawing nurses. And, you know, I, we were told that it was the biggest raise ever, while well, it's still not drawing nurses and that three to four would be leaving in the fall before winter. On January 5th, Howie Chandler, a nursing home administrator with over 40 years experience, offered to look into this issue of staffing at no cost to the county and see if he could help find a way to retain current staff. Why has the county not accepted his help? Does every employee get an exit interview? when they leave, and does the commissions look at some of those exit interviews and see why they're leaving, instead of just leaving it up to the administrator or HR over there? I think you people need to look at that. Uh, the administrator also commented that it was said that agency RNs are making $1,000 a shift. I think that was in regards to my remarks. I don't believe the agency IRANs are making $1,000 a shift, but I believe the agency is making $1,000 a shift. I'm also going to leave a 91A right to know request today. I'd like to have those other answers also, but I'd like to know the date that Commissioner Tassar returned in her county owned cell phone. I'd like to know if all that information on that cell phone was preserved. I'd like to know who backed it up and when it was backed up, and when the phone, if the phone was being used by Kim Tassari on June 3rd after her last day as a commissioner. And also, I'd like to know the weekly amount that the county is paying for agency nursing staff, all of them, not just the IRN, all of them for all 13 agency staffs. And lastly, today in the Conway Sun, there's an article, uh, there's a letter to the editor from a Carroll County resident in Conway, 
I have no idea who she is. It, the, the heading on it is Carroll County Nursing Home Traded Savings for a Fine. She's talking about the fine that was in there. The Green Estate News reported Rep. John McDonald, Republican of Wolfboro, said it's a simple mistake. The rule changed and someone didn't catch it. Patty Kane likely would have caught this change, but was fired in December, the Conway Sun reported. Most of Kane's duties entitled staff development, scheduling, updating policies, procedures, as well as direct care. Nursing Home Administrator Dee Brown said freeing up Kane's more than 100000 a year job would give staffers, non-union staffers, 75 cents a raise. The Nursing Home Administrator, backed by Carroll County Commissioners, executed a form of economic cannibalism kill off one employee's job to feed other employees. Unfortunately, the county just settled a $155,000 fine for $100,000, which could have been Kane's salary. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa, do you mind if I just weigh in on that list of questions? Yeah, that's a good Well, I gave you one last time, but so, here's another one. If I could, um, so 91A requires that we provide county documents that are either readily available or in, in five days give you a time when they will be available so just on this list that you read today the first four items there's no document responsive to your you're not requesting a document you're asking questions. I'm asking if they and were backed up when they were backed up right I'm not asking for the documents I'm asking when that phone was turned in and when it was backed up so that those four those first four things I would not be able to pull to fill your 91A request because they'll that doesn't fit within the parameters of the 91A. Of course, you can ask questions of the commissioners, but there's no document that I can provide. On the fifth one, though, you ask for um, how much has been spent on agency nursing weekly. I'd be happy to um, run a but have a budget report run by finance that will show you each week what's been spent in that line item. Yep. But, but yep. of these five items, that's the only one that I would be able to provide. Okay, so, so we don't keep records of when the phone was turned back in and when it was backed up? There's no documents responsive to your first four requests. There's no document that says who, what who day Who is phone responsible is for off. receiving that phone and, and making sure it's backed up? There has to be some form of record when that phone was turned in and when it was backed up. Are you telling me that they don't record when they back it up? So there is no policy that addresses your questions. If there was a policy, I could provide that to you. Well, we have a policy for everything else. I would assume that there'd be a policy on the cell phones, you know, and back up. I did understand that there is supposedly supposed to be done, uh, so that there's no policy that that's just if they decide to do it or not. There's no written policy responsive to your request, no. Would you, do you have other copies of your questions? You well, I had given them uh, okay, we'll two, three okay. weeks ago and then yeah. two weeks ago. We'll get them uh, from the and, uh, But, you know, uh, I, uh, and I'm also going to leave you a copy of this, but it basically states that within five business days, no, no. you know, and uh, as you are aware, that it hasn't been five days. It haven't even had any notification. And now there's two letters to the editor in, you know, three different papers there stating the same thing, which, you know, is a problem. Thank you. Do we have any media questions? Yeah, hi. My name is Gracie Fadden, and I'm a president of each career. Can you hear me? I, I couldn't understand you. I'm sorry. Sorry, hi, my name is Grace McFadden. I'm a reporter with New Hampshire Public Radio. Can you hear me? I heard you, yes. Now I can hear you. Oh, yeah. Is Matthew Plach in attendance today? He is not. Um, all right, that's all right. Uh, I've been trying to reach Commissioner Plach regarding the story I'm working on. I've tried to call and email repeatedly in hopes of arranging an interview to make sure we're reflecting his perspective in this piece. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to try to ask him to uh, contact us whenever possible. My email is gmcfadden.hkr.org. 
Um, and my phone is 603-223-2485. Um, but as it's not here, I just want that entered into the record. Okay, I, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear your number. Could you repeat it, your phone number? Yes, it's 603-223-2485. Get that? Okay. Yeah, thank you. Any other public or media questions? Seeing none, um, we'll go to the approval of the minutes of June 15th, which I can't do because, yeah, you were. No, no, no not sworn in. Okay, so I guess we'll hold that till next week. Okay, the manifest approval. We need to, we can do these. Did you? Yeah, it's all right. Because you were sworn in on the. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. If I might also. Um, in the blank, uh, June 28th, accounts payable. Can I give you that number? Sure. So you can also, I just got it. Um, 432, okay. comma 018.64. Okay. So $432,018.64. We, we don't have June 30th yet. Uh, the payroll number? Yep, yep, actually it's on here also. Okay. 280,000. Okay. $469.05. Okay. Okay, so the manifest approval for accounts payable on June 20th, $129,315.23. Um, accounts payable for June 28th, $432,018.64. Payroll, June 23rd, $214,270.54. Payroll for June 30th, $280,469.05. So I need a motion to approve. So moved. All those in favor say aye. Well, I guess I have to second. <laughs> second. So all those in favor say aye. 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 Hales. I don't have anything for Hales. Um, the only thing I have is the health officer affidavit, and we did vote to approve, um, but it needs uh, the signature of the Board of Selectmen, all of them. So I would need Matthews, um, and I don't. And at that time, there were only two of us, so that's all they're going to get. As long as Madam Chair, I think the quorum suffice. And no, right here it says the, the signature of the board of selectmen, a minimum of three. Since we don't have, yeah, since we don't have three, we only have two. Unfortunately, because um, Chuck wasn't sworn in at that time, when we did the vote. So. I don't know. I can find out um, if you sign it, if it's okay. I don't know why it wouldn't be, but. Chuck's been appointed, so he can sign it, can he? Yes. That, well, I guess he could, but he, he, didn't, he wasn't in on the vote to approve. Oh, that's right. Ah, uh, I see. But I guess as a selectman now, he could. It's okay. We could. Yeah. I would think so. I would, I would think. Okay. So do we need three? Or? Yep, we need three. Oh. Okay, we'll take care of that. And if Chuck, would you just give us your vote of approval on this? If it's for a health officer for Hale's location. And it is David Pandora, who is the health um, person for Eaton, uh, several other towns. So. Yes. Okay. Well, that's your Madam question. Chair? Yes. If I may take a moment, I'd like to introduce myself to the new uh, sure. commissioner. Sure. Go ahead, Joe. <clears throat> commissioner, my name is Joe Costello. I'm your county treasurer. I usually zoom in for the meetings. Uh, it's less expensive to use the assistant treasurer to sign the checks than it is for me to come down and sign it. 
So it saves the county money. Once in a while, I do come down to make sure everything is okay. And I'm in weekly contact with the CFO um, on our finances. So if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Um, you can get my cell phone number from Melissa if you have any questions and you need to call me. Thank you. Appreciate that. And welcome to board. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Um, if you would sign your name here, and I'll track Matthew down at some point. For Hales, Joe, anything else for Hales? I have nothing else for Hales, no. Okay. We have the finance report uh, review from May 31st. Joe, did you have a chance to look at that? I did peruse it. I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Um, you know, I think we're doing okay at the moment, but we do need to keep an eye on us. Thanks. Okay. And I believe our CFO is doing that. So we need a vote to approve for this, so this could be put on the website. So, uh, so moved. Okay, I'll second. All those in favor say aye. 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 This is for you guys to open up for a bid for the, um, oh, the pump, house. pump house piping. Um, and then we also have a recommendation at, uh, from Underwood okay. on, did she give you the printed out for you? Yep, that. right here, Underwood. Okay, okay. Okay, so they're recommending that the bid that um, Barry Miller's well and pump service of Hillsborough, New Hampshire, submitted to us. I think you guys opened that up two weeks ago. Um, it was our only bid that came in on the job, and um, they feel that the bid that was placed was um, adequate, that they, they worked with this company before on other projects of theirs, so they're familiar with the company, and that um, they've always performed satisfactory work and on schedule. Um, I think the dates from when we... Um, Submitted the, the we'll put the bid out to, to, to now. We'll have to be adjusted a little bit because it's just our process of getting these approved. If you guys approve it today, is you know longer than what we had in the bid. But um, I don't think that's going to be. Hopefully, from the sounds of it, it didn't look like it was going to be too big of an issue. Um, that once this is approved, if you decide to approve it, and once it's approved, then she can take it back to them, and they can get us on the schedule. I believe is the the idea of it. Um, so I don't know these this company, um, and I don't know, um, you know, I'm not real familiar with what companies charge for, for doing this kind of work. Um, they're going to be pulling pumps and hooking up different things, um, evaluating what we have up there, getting it ready for the um, to hook up to our to our skater system, basically, um, to be able to report. So when we start doing our well tests to see what we have for capacity, um, we'll basically have all the tools in place um, to do that. And so I believe that's pretty much what this is going to happen. There was in that bid, there was the base bid, and then there was um, I forget what they call it, but some alternative prices. So that was based on when they lift the pump if 
they find this, then we may have to do this, or this is fine, we don't have to do this. Um, so they had that all listed out in the, in the bid there. And you said they were the only bid, right? Yes, sir, they were the only ones that um, we solicited. Uh, they solicited five licensed well installers, uh, firms, uh, and only one bid was received out of the five. And so. That doesn't give us much of a choice. No. <laughs> Just out of curiosity, any particular reason? I mean... Why the other guy? Why the other I, I've not. I, I know one that we. Um, Is it did, a time thing where we, they don't have the time to do it? Or? I know one or two of them. It was because they were already too busy and scheduled. Um, I'm not sure on the on the others why. Uh, I got a feeling that's the case for all of them. Uh, More than likely. Right. So they can start. It looks like they can start this fairly soon if we get if we approve this today. That's the the goal because we're already yeah. kind of a little bit behind right. on our schedule. So. Yeah. Um, the goal is to, to get them going on that, and then um, if we open up this and we, we look at it and we decide that they're doing a good job, I think that's another the next kind of step that we got to get set up. Uh, once these two things are set up, if, uh, if I'm correct, then we'll be able to start bringing in the hydrologist and start getting evaluations of things going. Okay. Would you like a motion? I would. Uh, I make a motion that we accept the bid from Underwood Engineers in the amount of $50,000 for the uh, inspection of our wells. I, I think we... Um, the inspection and... Underwood is just um, recommending I'm sorry, not the Underwood. other company. Yeah. I'm sorry, Barry, Barry uh, Mills. Barry Mills. Yeah. 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 Barry Mills Wall and Pump Services. Yeah. In Hills, of Hillsborough, New Hampshire, a total of fifty thousand dollars. I will second. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Okay. What's next? And then okay. just. Is there an agreement here that has to be signed? It's said in there that they wanted us to sign it. Um, please sign the attached notice of the award, and we will deliver this in the contract to Bernie Miller's. I didn't see, unless I missed it, I don't know okay. if Melissa saw the... Oh, right here. Acknowledgement. It's the last oh, page. Oh, okay. Right. I have one. You can sign if you'd like, and you can keep okay. that one. Oops. Um, okay. You want to make a motion that we um, have will sign the contract? Or would you... Yes, I make a motion. I can make that motion. So move to have will sign the contract. Okay. I'll second. So all in favor say aye. 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 And I was going to say, I think with that, um, no, never mind, I'm not going to say that. You can say that? No, I was, I was confused. I was on the wrong. I was oh, thinking about one okay. of the... I'm confused too. So. I was thinking about one of the grants that we applied that we had, we filled out a form that says I could do it, but that yeah. doesn't apply to this. Yes. Right. right. So that's where I was, I was wrong. Okay. Oh, and you have a bid? Okay. Yep, this so one? that's okay. just one from, um, I'm not even sure who it's from, but um, for the meter... Replacement. Oh, okay. We did have one uh, individual, and this might be the individual. I didn't get a chance to meet with him, but uh, he did come out, and uh, one of my employees took him up to, to show him the treatment building, the job. Um, I think last time we were in here, I had brought pictures of what we were looking at replacing. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what this bid should, in, should include and be doing. Again, I know they, I'm, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head, but I want to say it was at least a half a dozen or more that they select, they uh, direct solicited to on this, and this appears to be the only one. We Our, when we get bids, we always ask for four copies so that we can all have one. So it looks once like they, once they get the approval. What is it with the blue paper? 
Yeah. It makes it hard to read. It is hard to read. I think that I had already, um, I had already approved what meters we're putting in there, and yep, we had placed we the orders yep. on those um, particular meters. So um, those should be on on order already. I think we'll just be waiting for them to to come in. Okay. Yeah, I thought we already ordered them, or you already ordered them. Right. These ones, I believe, I did. We also have, um, I didn't bring it with me today, um, but while we're talking about meters, um, I have some paperwork we got to finish filling out and the meters for the homes down in the village that we ordered last year have now um, come into uh, EJPs. So um, we'll, I'll have to do some paperwork so we can get that moving forward, but then we'll be able to receive those um, as well. So we will you have that, and we'll just wait for your recommendation. Yes, and I'll... Um, if you want to go take a look at it and get back to us later this afternoon, um, Okay, well, I was going to say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind running this by Lynette. Okay, at, whatever uh, you... Underwood to make sure she's... Because uh, they put the bid together and okay. make sure she's... Um, okay. It's addressed what they wanted it, want. Um, if she can, I'll, I'll ask to come back, but if not, then maybe next week next I can week. get on yeah, the that's fine. schedule for a recommendation with that. Okay. I'll um, scan it and email it off to her. Okay. So I know we reduce all the engineering issues. Basically. Not all of them, but if Will feels more confident yeah. in the, in they're, they're the one that headed up the project, kind of. Right. So we have um, some of the things like the, the meters, for example, I was just talking about that we ordered last year. Um, you know, I knew enough about the meters and what meters we wanted. I ordered them. We're going to be in-house installing them. Um, so stuff like that that's more basic, then uh, we'll do it in-house. But when we have some more technical things, I usually um, refer to them and get their assistance. Um, and also because they tend to know which contractors, you know, to solicit and they do it every day. So it kind of gives us a, a better uh, variety out there. Anything else, that's, I think that's it for me. Okay. So we have a, a non-public schedule for 9.30. I think we're... Um, it is going to be on... Madam Chair? I think it's going to be A and B. Would read a sentiment public? Not sure I know how to do that. I should know how to do that. Oh. <laughs> you just say you're making a motion to go into non public for under RSA 91A. And B. Colon 3. Yep. Yeah. Two. Okay. Yep. Make a motion to go into non public under RSA 91A colon. A colon three. Roman numeral two. Two. Roman two. A and B. Correct. Correct. I will second and roll call vote. I don't know where she is, but Commissioner McGee. McGee. Aye. And Commissioner McCarthy. Aye. Nine thirty-three. And it's ten fifty-three. Okay. okay. I move that we come out of the public and see the minutes. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. We have, yes, I do have an announcement. We have two new hires uh, Victoria Legant, as an MNA, and Pensari Bilwet, as an LNA at the nursing home. So. Okay. Um, line item transfers. These are getting smaller and smaller. Oh, I mean, <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Um, this is from the county attorney's office. Um, 
Um, it is request number 2023006, and they're asking for $26,000 to come out of account number 4123007000. Out of salaries and go into account number 4123090. Uh, department, what? Specials? What is it? Department specific software. Oh, is that what it is? Yes. Okay. That's what it is. Okay. Oh, I didn't read the back. Okay. Um, questions? No, I think, I think the. You know, they do have this department-specific software that they need to pay for. Okay. So. And this wasn't in the budget? From no. Our it's IT. one of those things, yes. Didn't our IT department have a budget for this software, did they? Yeah. I move that we uh, approve this transfer request number 2023-006. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 You have the signature, signature copy. Thank you. Sorry. Okay. And Matthew, while you're here, I will. I will wait for that signature. We'll go back to the minutes of June 15th. I we couldn't do it because you weren't. Chuck I wasn't. I didn't. Tell me what I'm writing. Yep. Right Did they look good to you, Chuck? He wasn't here. Was he here? Oh. If you want to make a motion, we can do those. Move we approve the yep. minutes for June 15th, 2023. I just did. Oh, you just did. Okay, I didn't hear you. You were mumbling. Sorry. I do. <laughs> I move. Okay. We approve <laughs> the minutes for June 15th. Okay, I will second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay. Did you want to talk about these other things here today? Yep. I'm going to do those in a minute. Just a second. You guys can go ahead and talk about them. Go ahead. Uh, we have uh, Should I talk about them? Yep. Did you want to talk about them? Sure. Yes, go ahead. We have two policies that I am bringing forward for approval. Um, the one procedure for suspension and or discharge or removal of an employee and for Board of Commissioners hearing. Um, we've already discussed in the past, uh, we were going to bring it to discussion at the same time as we're doing the next policy. I did make one more change since we met. Um, the title is somewhat cumbersome, so I am actually suggesting a change of from procedure for suspension and or discharge or removal of an employee and for Board of Commissioners hearing to procedure for suspension and or discharge and right to a hearing. I mean, are you okay with that or, or does that, do you think that is an issue to change the title? Um, just the title. True, that's kind of what I felt too. And I just, like I said, I felt like it was kind of cumbersome. The other, the rest of the policy we had discussed uh, a couple of months ago and you folks felt that it was fine, we were just holding it to do at the same time as the social media policy. But I know you haven't seen it, Commissioner McGee, so if you need time to uh, read it and digest it, I understand. It's pretty much RSA 2810. What were the changes other than it, where, where does it not follow? Um, it, we did some housekeeping changes. Um, it, in the prior edition, it talked about the town administrator doing some things. And because that 
we don't have anyone in that position, we changed that to be Director of Human Resources. So most, almost all of the changes were housekeeping, to strictly say what we're actually doing. Yeah, you asked for the changes, so you look good to me. Okay. So you're okay with the uh, suspension policy? Yes. You want to talk? Working on this for a while. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. I want to get it right. Legal counsel. Yes. yes. Absolutely. Um, uh, you know, you 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 don't want it fast. You want it right. So yes, uh, we've taken some time. So the other policy I'm bringing forward for approval is the social media policy. Um, have had several discussions with the attorney, um, and so the amended one is in front of you, having removed the final paragraph um, that was previously there. So it's a little bit more cut and dried. Um, so again, for your consideration. I got stopped by the local police yesterday, so I expect that to be in the paper tomorrow. <laughs> Oops. Oops. No, it was nothing. I'll I, be sure to take yeah. a look. No. <laughs> My license plate fell off when I was in Portland. Oh, wow. And so I've been driving around with it for like a week with the old plate. And so he pulled me over and he says, I said, well, what was I? I kind of knew him. Anyway, man, I said, this is he says, well, you don't have a front license plate. I said, I said, you're mistaken. I do have one. I said, but it's in the back seat. <laughs> he just started laughing. I told him what happened. I was waiting, and I actually got it fixed yesterday. I had to wait for a, a new thing to come in. Right. Well, that's the thing. If the thing is busted, you can't. Yeah, can't yeah you can't. Yeah. But it was funny. I said, oh, good. Come, uh, well, I'll be uh, in the paper tomorrow. I'll be sure to take a peek. <laughs> so. Okay. Any questions, um, Chuck? I really don't have any. I mean, it, it was pretty straightforward. I mean, yeah. We've been working on these for months. Yeah. So well, Linda's been working on them. It's all good. Like I said, we want it right, not fast. So I'm good. Matthew, we have the final one. Yes, yeah, so I have two um, sign worthy copies that have the correct name on them. Would you wait? Very good. I just. Would you like to make a motion? Or you do still have questions? I, I just. Um, you, so you made the changes on the social media? Um, yes. So, yeah, I've got a clean okay. copy. A motion to approve the policy entitled Suspension, Discharge, and Right to a Hearing. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 I move we approve the social media policy. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 It's in my heart. So we have that 11 o'clock. We should go back into it. Do we have anything else that we have public. to do? I don't believe we do so. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Chuck, you want to go? Yeah. Or would we go back into non-public? Yep. It's uh, 2A. Under the second one. 91E32A, C, 2A and C. Is there a second? Second. Yes. Okay. And then All those in favor, roll call vote, please. Commissioner McKean? Aye. Commissioner McCarthy? Aye. Commissioner Platt? Aye. 1103. Okay.